is the Volvo C40, and this is an all-electric car. I'm not talking hybrid, I mean all-electric. Now this vehicle retails for just under 1.3 million rand, and I love that they jumped on board of the Barbie excitement, so I had to dress the part to review this car. I've been in it a couple of days, and my initial thoughts are, what? <laughs> My initial thoughts literally are what? Now, I'm not going to lie, Volvo has been in my family for a long time and I've always known it is a super uh, safe vehicle. It is voted pretty much every year a super safe vehicle. But how exactly was I going to just adjust to the whole electric part and the recharging part of the car? Now, the really positive stuff about the car, it's the sound is silent. I mean, the car itself. And then when we think about the sound in the car is amazing. Um, you can really, really tell that the tech in this car is quite up to date. And if you even want to know how up to date it is, you can check the air quality, not just inside the car, but also outside the car. And then take a look at this. And these are just aesthetics and vibes that I am totally going for. Look up there. So, so stunning. So beautiful. When we get to the safety aspects, um, I feel completely control in control in this car. If you're used to driving a gas or petrol diesel vehicle, you do need to get a little bit used to how the pedals work of accelerator and brake. It almost, if you've never been in a car like this before, feels like being in a golf cart. So that's kind of the vibe that you get. And that when you push your foot in the accelerator, it moves immediately. And when you push on, you know, release, it stops pretty much immediately. Then when it comes to um, just the ride, I am a girl who loves speed. I really do. So this car's for me. Just a simple tap and it is accelerating like crazy. Um, inside, if you look at each and every one of the details, you would think a car like this might have been leather, but the fabric thing, I'm kind of loving it. Having been with leather seats, and this is what they don't tell you about leather seats, is that on hot days, you're going to burn your legs, especially if you're wearing a dress like what I'm wearing today. Now, let me talk about how easy and realistic it is. Considering South Africa, the economy we're living in, the charging part Great thing about the car, you can literally check with all of the, the maps and the, the closest areas to go and charge the vehicle. However, charging at home was a little bit of a nightmare, not because it's not easy. That part is simple, like the plug points, that part is easy. What was not easy is that it takes a while if you're doing just simple three pins. So I would suggest if you get a car like this, you need to invest in your own supercharging situation at your house um, and that you possibly have some other forms of backup power uh, considering load shedding. I probably, if I'm driving a vehicle like this, would have a second one. Unless you're working in places like Santon City or Mainland where there are charging stations and it's quite convenient, you might want to go somewhere in a hurry. So I was constantly having anxiety seeing the battery level going down. You know that feeling when your phone battery is dying and you're like not sure when you're going to get to a charger? That's kind of that feeling except you need to get home. And then I had that idea in my mind, what if the car just gets stuck on the side of the road? Um, you can't just walk to a gas station and pour petrol. It's not that vibe. So I'm assuming in this situation, I'd call Volvo emergency and they'd come with like a little bit of um, power 
and then that would get me on my way. Um, they have connected a little router here so that you can connect to Wi-Fi. The vehicle is fully updated and thanks to Volvo, of course, that they hooked me up with a charging card um, so that when I go to top up the power for the vehicle it has a card already topped up for the days that I have the vehicle it is so big on the inside it is so big on the outside but because of the shape it makes you not think it's an SUV so it doesn't look cumbersome and big and heavy if you're not into big vehicles so for me I'm into big vehicles this vehicle is definitely for me uh, this specific color I have to tell you there's not a single person who did not turn their heads it's a head turner there are so many interesting colored cars on the road but not this particular pink so Volvo getting on board of the Barbie craze and going all pink good for you I've had men women black white all demographics all races that were hooting waving smiling saying beautiful car stunning car and I was like thank you I have amazing taste <laughs> of course I do but um it is a spectacular ride I think Really, the only downside I would say about the vehicle is the part of where our country is at with regards to electricity. So you might constantly have anxiety about like, when am I charging next, especially when load shedding is in higher stages. But overall, for me as a mom, I feel so, so comfortable in this car. I feel comfortable just in terms of being safe. Um, it also isn't a car that I'm thinking is sitting on, you know, most hijacked vehicles list. So that also makes me feel quite comfortable, but it's different. It's a vibe. Initially, I was like, hmm, let me figure this car out, like how to start it. There is no ignition. And you'd think, isn't that obvious, Glebkhile, that there isn't an ignition? You would think it's obvious there isn't an ignition, but if you haven't been actually in that car, there's certain things you'll be surprised by. So when you open the bonnet, that's where the cables are. There's no engine. And the first time I got in the car, um, I was like, where am I switching it on? Is there a button? Is there? No, you just press, uh, you just pull um, your gear your gear shift basically back and it starts the car. And it's in, you know, you've got park, reverse, neutral drive. Simple, easy to navigate. My phone is completely here. I can connect my phone completely Siri can read out my WhatsApp messages. I can respond to my WhatsApp messages. It is smart. It is up to date. I don't really know what else I could really complain about in this vehicle. It is a solid car. It is beautiful. One of the awesome safety features about this car is a driving assist. And it's so awesome because it will keep you within the lanes. It warns you if you're driving outside of the lanes. Um, it will give you roadside information if need be. It gives a ready to drive notification. Um, it will also warn you if, if there's time, if you need to rest because you're driving outside of the lanes too often. It'll say, you need, do you need to take a break? And I think that type of technology is required, not because a person is necessarily just driving around drunk, but you're actually a more dangerous driver on the road when you are drowsy and sleepy so it does help to have an assist with you in the car so outside of the things we're quite accustomed to like navigation but a vehicle that is monitoring exactly how you're driving and is behaving accordingly uh, that is quite a fantastic um, feature just in terms of uh, a safety feature you want to know that no matter what kind of day you're having and of course it's got cameras all around um you can switch to the type of mode you want with the different um cameras let's say you're reversing it will notify you when things are close by and even when they're not so close by so that you are aware that there's some movement happening next to the car the downside of this of course it being south africa is that people are always coming to our windows to ask for things so it will keep alerting you but i'd rather it do that than i not be alerted of movement next to the car um the boot space nice big solid um i don't know what else to say i think just for me being a parent being a mom this is the type of comfort that um you want to just drive around in you know school pickups but you also know this is the kind of car you can do a beautiful long distance trip in because it is so so comfortable and you can just completely relax but you can't be surprised because that's 
how Volvo really rolls. So at least you know when you are spending over 1 million rand for a car like this, you know what you're spending it on, you know where that money is going. Um, I'm just wondering what the electricity bill might look like, but the people buying this car are not worried about the electricity bill. Let's be real. If you're going to try an all electric car, make sure it's safe and why not make it all pink? Thank you.